It's Friday. We fire stick and chilling. I've only got one selection for you this time because it's been a busy week, but it's a really, really good one that you guys can find on your streaming devices and stream and binge the whole entire weekend. Let's take a look at it. What's good, YouTube? It's the all-knowing, all-loving, all-feeling, all-seeing, all-powerful, just damn all everything. Sex is hell, host of the Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson, bringing you guys streaming media Monday through Wednesday. Normally, we fire, stick, and chill on Thursday, but we're doing it on Friday. And on the weekends, it's all about helping you make money, save money, whatever I can do to help you guys invest for your future. Today, we are covering a great series that my wife found called The Good Wife. I'm gonna let you guys see the story background, see some history on the main actor and the creators, and then we're gonna come back with the commentary to get this discussion popping and why you should look at it. You know what I don't get? Why you still buy it? I was unprepared. An hour ago, I resigned as state's attorney. I need to atone for my personal failings with my wife, Alicia, and our two children. Two months ago, Peter Floor was sentenced to 10 years for bribery and corruption. Well, we are you coming back to the workplace fairly late, but you have some very prominent baggage. Last time I was in court was 13 years ago. I was 12. I don't know how you do it, Alicia. I'd be huddled up in a ball somewhere. Come on, don't give up on me. I love you. Love you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after seeing that, to give you some context for the story, The Good Wife stars a desperate housewife in the beginning. Y'all know how I love my desperate housewives, who is married to a politician who winds up having an affair and gets his ass locked up, which forces her to have to go back into the work world as a lawyer to one of the most prestigious law firms in Chicago. When I tell you this thing has high drama, it has high drama. They've got two kids, teenage kids at that, one girl, one boy, they have drama. As she's climbing the ranks in this particular law firm, she meets another love interest, even though she's trying to get back with her husband after he gets out of jail. And throughout the entire course of this series, ladies and gentlemen, it takes you on a tumultuous ride of the law firm getting in trouble with drug lords, in-house sex scandals, and the main character finding out on the end of the series that her best friend that is in the law firm winds up being caught sleeping with her husband back in the day as well. Now they do mend their situation, ladies and gentlemen, this young lady, and that's her husband. However, even though they get the situation mended, he decides to run for president of the United States all while she has a love triangle with a guy she falls in love with in the job. Now they take you through great legal cases, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they had one with some tech geniuses who got into some espionage with Russia, believe it or not. They had something where their private investigator kind of rode the line of being lesbian. Is she heterosexual? She did a whole lot of extracurriculars 
to excel in her position. Ladies and gentlemen, they give it an 8.3. I give the series a 10. We discovered the series because my wife, who happens to be a physician, always has things planned in the background while she's doing her notes and all that kind of stuff. And if it ever something happens that piques her interest, that's when she knows she has a good series. For the longest time, I would never touch this thing because she's like, you need to look at the good wife. You need to look at the good wife. Look at the cover. I'm just like, I'm not looking at that. But she convinced me. I jumped on it and we binged through this thing. It took us literally because they've got about 10 seasons. It took us a month to binge watch through this, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want a great series that's going to take you a long time to watch, this will be something you can come back to week in and week in. This is your series. This is a 10 on the life gain scale. So guys, let me know if you're going to watch it. If you've already seen it, let me know what you liked about it. And let me know what I can do to improve my commentary to get you guys to watch series that I have found to be very beneficial and very entertaining. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Always go out there and get yourself that life game. Check that video description box below my video. Check out my past videos. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. Hit me at www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.